So, you're the new addition to the Brotherhood. Well, I'm Seth, just Seth. From God to Cain to Seth. I am his right hand, and I have a task for you. This is Nakumba, and he is causing the Brotherhood much grief. His views do not coincide with ours, and that makes him dangerous. Silence him. Back so soon? Hmm. Let's see how you do with something important. For too many years, GDI forces have maintained a stranglehold on Egypt. It's fallen upon us to liberate these citizens, crying out for a better way of life. Kane wants to establish a base here to eliminate the smothering presence of GDI. It's too risky to move our heavy forces in, so we want you to sneak in with a few expendable troops and set up a forward attack post. Uh, by the way, there's more than enough Tiberium for you to harvest. That should easily pay your expenses. If you're detected, you fail. If you fail, you die. Cain is going to be pleased to hear how skillfully you've handled yourself. And a word from me to Cain goes a long way in the Brotherhood. These walls imprison many friends and members of the Brotherhood. Free them regardless of cost. Overwhelm the prison, but leave it standing. GDI is evacuating the village of Boham Hajir. Nod command directive. Destroy village and terminate GDI rescue operations. Search and destroy residual GDI presence. Before you can truly shape the future, you must first possess the past. Assimilate our history, for it is your own. Kane wants you to view this. Accessing Brotherhood Archives. The Brotherhood desires a world of peace, unity, and eternal brotherhood. The Brotherhood springs from the lowest of places, offering unity and peace to otherwise neglected and abused nations. Tiberium heralds the dawn of a new age. The Brotherhood embraces this age, harvesting Tiberium to further expand our collective beliefs. Tiberium continues to confound the scientific community, soaking up ground minerals and soil nutrients like a sponge. The end result of this unique leaching process creates the formation of Tiberium crystals, rich in precious metals and available for collection with a minimum of mining expense. I have good news. 
While I was at a top-level briefing with Kane, I made mention of your accomplishments and efforts. He's somewhat impressed, and he's interested to see how you handle your next assignment. Kane needs Niger, and his personal commander is massing an assault through Algeria. We need to be assured that GDI's HN Warthogs flying out of Lagos do not hinder his progress. Your goal is to set up surface-to-air missile batteries and destroy the GDI airbase. You have caught Kane's eye, and he is watching. Do not fail me. I was starting to trust you, but now Kane has asked for your services specifically. He thinks you can handle this. GDI has imported a nuclear detonator, and Kane's intelligence shows it hasn't even been unpacked yet. Since you seem so brilliant, sneak into the GDI base with a small task force, find the crate, and get out, if you can. And if you're lucky, I'll have a helicopter waiting for you. Well, there's no stopping you, is there? Now Kane wants you to destroy this village. It's the last front standing between him and his Tiberium operations. There are some civilians there, but they're sick and dying, so you should be able to handle them quite easily. And don't worry about any GDI forces. Intelligence tells me there are just a few scientists lurking about. Nod research indicates the following. Humans in GDI-friendly territories are suffering respiratory problems in significant numbers. Tiberium also has a profound negative impact on human immune and reproductive systems. Still unknown is the extent to which Tiberium affects human DNA. Nod analysts predict three out of five humans will suffer Tiberium-related illnesses within the next three years. End transmission. Stand by. Well done. You are truly becoming Kane's favorite. How would you like to ensure your place in the highest echelons of Nod? Surely you are ambitious enough to take on a mission of tremendous magnitude. Your goal is so secret, even Kane knows nothing of it yet. You see, Power shifts quickly in the Brotherhood. I've taken the liberty of dispatching your troops to the U.S. Kane has been loath to attack America, but I feel that it's time, and that you're the one to do it. This is the Pentagon. A full frontal attack with your strongest forces should render their military center of operation. Yes. Power shifts more quickly than some people think. I am Kane. While I get your troops back from the States, I want you to take what men you have left and secure this abandoned GDI base. Once in, build up an arsenal of weapons and use them to wipe out the remaining GDI presence. Oh, and congratulations on your promotion. Our African campaign is going well, but our Egyptian fortifications have been weakened by GDI attacks from the Nile. One of our bases is under fire, and I need you to reinforce and rebuild. Remove the GDI presence from this region once and for all. Towards that end, we have developed a new weapon you may find useful.
It's your move. Here you see Tiberium. Some say it is the root of all that we fight for, but the wise man will judge for himself. Tiberium is named after the Tiber River in Italy where it was first discovered. Discovered by the Brotherhood, that is, and I named it after Tiberius Drusus Caesar. There are now more than 200 areas of the Earth affected by Tiberium deposits. Tiberium appears to be spreading by means of conveyance unknown. Unknown to them, perhaps. Dr. Mobius, tell our viewers just what Tiberium really is. Molecularly, it's a non-carbon-based element that appears to have strong An obvious lunatic. With non-resonating reversible energy that has a tendency to disrupt carbon-based molecular structures with inconsequent and in, in, uh, unequal positrons orbiting on the first, second, and ninth quark rings. Whoa, is that good or bad? Ooh, let me put it this way, Eddie. The possibilities of Tiberium are limitless. I suppose that's correct. But by limitless, uh, you mean... We now know that not only does Tiberium leach elements from the soil, but it appears to also leach vital nutrients from all plant life. Human contact with Tiberium is extremely toxic and often fatal. Exposure should be avoided. This is true. Deploy your troops accordingly. GDI and the Brotherhood view the benefits and the threats of Tiberium differently. They see a scientific anomaly, a curiosity. I see the future. In their stubborn ignorance, they continue to try and forestall this future. Somewhere in this region is a top secret GDI research lab headed by Dr. Wong Hu Chan, a sadly misled, although brilliant scientist. I suspect he is leading a research team in the process of developing a devastating new ion weapon. It is imperative that you locate this lab and terminate the good doctor before research is completed. Once you locate the base, one of your snipers should finish the job. Go quickly. I hope I can trust you with this. GDI has stolen the plans and only prototype of our most valuable weapon. I call it Ezekiel's wheel. Essentially, it's a stealth tank. Get it back. Recapture the base without harming the wheel and be certain to wipe out all present GDI forces to ensure that they never steal from me again. It has been truthfully said that knowledge is power. As you are no doubt aware, GDI has begun field testing its satellite-based ion cannon despite your previous success. Unfortunate. But it does provide one with an interesting speculation. Inside this communications satellite are the security codes that provide GDI access to this ultimate weapon. It is imperative that the Brotherhood secure these codes now. You must capture the center and retrieve the security codes from their databases. Be steadfast. Do not be deterred, no matter what the cost. Weapon! 
We have reached the end. The final piece to my puzzle is within your grasp. Two GDI bases rest on ground I have chosen to be the cradle of my temple. Remove them in any way you can. Your efforts have landed us here, my faithful friend. The temple is complete, and we are about to embark upon our greatest exploit. For now, relax, and watch as my net runners dance through the web of cyberspace. Once inside, the world is at my fingertips. Begin. Welcome to the Global Defense Initiative Orbital Defense Matrix. The world. Where to strike? Where will the world most keenly feel the blade of GDI treachery? You have done much to aid the Brotherhood towards this final victory. The choice, my friend, is yours. At the United Nations today, angry political leaders of the G7 nations issued a formal statement denying complicity in last Tuesday's tragedy involving Paris's famed Eiffel Tower. The death toll in what some are calling an unwarranted attack passed 700 today as rescue workers and United Nations teams continued to sift through the rubble, unearthing 14 more bodies from what was once Paris's most famous landmark. French President Henri Prichard, safe in London at the time of the attack, reiterated his support of the UN statement, despite growing opposition to global defense initiative policies. Prichard labeled the disaster, quote, a mind-numbing attack. GDI Task Force Commander General Mark Shepard, accompanied by U.S. Attorney General Nancy Griffith, testified before a Senate congressional hearing earlier today. Shepard, once the golden boy of international diplomacy, wilted under intense cross-examination from hostile senators, demanding explanations for the blast that leveled the historic landmark, 
and sparked an international debate on the need for more effective safeguards in the age of high-tech warfare. Defensive but unapologetic, Shepard admitted he had no idea how security 